welcome back we're going to do a new video on the different CT scan uh, structures at different levels of the thorax and the abdomen to be familiar with the with the different structures and their pathologies because sometimes they would ask a pathology or a physiology about a certain structure and you have to be able to recognize which structure they are at at which level so let's take a quick look at a CT scan which is in the thorax so let me quickly orient you this is the right side this is the left side and the structures which are darkest would be air and a little less than that would be muscle so the less dark areas are these so these are muscles and the one that follows are the blood vessels so anything that has this color are the blood vessels and the light and the and the brightest would be the bones which is quite obvious so in this in this picture um, we can see the two aorta this would be the ascending because it's it's farther from the vertebral column right here and this would be the descending so it's kind of getting a little smaller and get a little narrower and the reason we know that this is aorta it's because this is so nice and round um, very visible on the CT scan so train your eyes to kind of look at look at structures which are very round which are very um, very signature for aorta so other than that there is also two, two kind of flattened structures right here this one and this one these are the right bronchus and the left bronchus from the color we see that there is air in here which is also apparent because of the air and that that's how we know that these are the right and the left bronchus what about this huge structure right here this is actually the pulmonary trunk this would be the right pulmonary artery and this would be the left pulmonary artery so now that we are oriented in terms of the blood vessels the next is the sympathetic trunk the sympathetic trunk is kind of behind the column right around here on both sides and in the middle there is a spinal cord and you can see that the spinal cord is kind of grayish in color um, in terms of uh, internal thoracic artery, we can see the internal thoracic artery at the very front right here and there little dot, little white dot right there. And so the, those are the internal thoracic artery. And right behind the aorta is the posterior intercostal artery. It's right be behind the aorta is the posterior intercostal artery. Mm, and what else? that's all in terms of I want to mention in terms of um, blood vessels um, in terms of nerves the the vagus nerve is kind of closer to the descending aorta not very close but kind of in the middle between the right and the left bronchus uh, is the vagus nerve and again we can see the vagus nerve close to the ascending aorta so around in the corner of the ascending aorta that's the sorry that's a phrenic nerve the phrenic nerve is close to the kind of uh, in the midway uh, vagus is kind of behind uh, one is close to the aorta the other is in between the bronchus and the phrenic nerve is kind of in front of it so phrenic is kind of coming from the vagus and becoming phrenic so it's close to the to the acidic aorta and on the other side it's close to the pulmonary trunk so these are the important structures of the of the thorax i don't see um i don't see the esophagus which is kind of interesting i usually see the esophagus at a thorax level but in this case i don't see it so let's move on to a ct scan of the abdomen so this is the CT scan of the abdomen, so let's train our eyes again. So if this is the middle, this would be the right side, and this would be the left side. And this is quite obvious from the picture that this is a CT scan of the abdomen. The spleen are right here. This is the, this is the intestine. The, the small intestine is right here. The small intestine kind of falling on the left side. Um, on the right side is the ascending colon, so this is the ascending colon. If we could see transverse colon, transverse colon would be kind of around this region, but we we don't see it at this uh, at this cross section. 
so now that we are oriented let's look for the blood vessel so again let's look for that color so this looks good to me it's very round it's close to the vertebra and also these are the retrogression peritoneal structure so you see you can kind of draw a line around here that the kidneys and the aorta the inferior vena cava these are all retroperitoneal structure including ascending and descending colon those are also retroperitoneal structure and duodenum second third and fourth now this is the aorta right here and right on the left side of the right side of the aorta is the inferior vena cava which is kind of bigger in terms of cross section than the aorta but a little flattened so that's our inferior vena cava um, this picture is probably a little below a little below L1 because I can see that the superior mesenteric artery is al already right here so it's kind of right in front of the aorta is the superior mesenteric artery and the superior mesenteric artery it's hard to say which one is superior mesenteric artery but that's definitely not close to the vertebra but we know it's a superior mesenteric artery is because it's labeled here but also because it's further away from the aorta and because uh, because um, what other artery would this be uh, we don't see the two internal uh, we don't see the internal iliac arteries uh, which branches out the aorta into two into two sections sorry not internal ex external iliac arteries so this would be the superior mesenteric artery now um, it's hard to say which one is the superior and the su which one is the inferior mesenteric artery the only way to say it is if we know at what level they're coming out and superior mesenteric artery is coming out at the level of L1 and the inferior mesenteric artery is coming out at the level of L3 so L1 and L3 are the two levels where the superior and the inferior mesenteric artery is coming out anything else we want to talk about well yeah the, the renal vein is obviously coming from the renal side so can we see the renal vein what exactly it looks like so it's hard to say the renal artery and the renal vein so renal artery would be something small which is coming out from the aorta so we can see that it's coming out from the aorta so that's why we know it's it's a renal artery and uh, anything else I guess that's it so again the proximal bowel is going to be on the left side and the ascending bowel ascending colon is going to be on the right side um, moving on to this is another beautiful picture of a CT scan we can see the aorta and the inferior vena cava we can even see a little bit of stomach so and this is interesting because it's a splenic artery um, is it really that big the splenic artery the splenic artery going towards the spleen it's huge in this in the CT scan and this one is the inferior mesenteric artery kind of you know farther away from the aorta much down in the in the CT scan so that's that's inferior mesenteric artery then again you know our best guess would be superior or inferior for for pictures like this um, so that's that's all in terms of CT scans of the abdomen and the thorax so using this knowledge we should be able to predict if there is any anything new that's in the picture or what could it be where is the aorta or where is the inferior vena cava and what's close to what using that analogy we should be able to um, identify other structures which are not not discussed in this CT scan but it's important to have this basis and it's important to have this very thorough knowledge of the CT scan and it's also important to train our eyes to look at CT scans and kind of getting ready for the step two and the step three okay see you in our next video bye for now